Welcome to Crafty Hints, I'm Chantel. I appreciate each of you joining me today. I am giving you some Easter tiered tray DIY ideas. I got this little picture frame from the Dollar Tree. So what you will wanna do is just basically tear it apart. We're going to create something new out of it. So you just wanna dump the balls out and there is all different ones like this at the Dollar Tree. I thought I could keep the glass using some acetone polish remover, but I did try it on both sides and it wouldn't work. So I decided to just remove it. And now I'm taking one of these wood cutout bunnies and using a little bit of wood filler, you could definitely use spackle. So just sand that a little bit and we should be good to go with our bunny. Next, I took some scrapbook paper that I got at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to glue it with this permanent hold glue stick and we'll just stick that on there and then trim around it. Okay, next I wanted to paint this blue to go with some of the other tear tray items that we made in the last video. So I just gave this about two coats just to make sure it was thorough. Next, I'm putting that styrofoam back in around the edges so that when I put the back back on, it doesn't go straight to the front. This gives it that little bit of cushion so it doesn't fall there. And then I just put the back back on and there's little brads to hold it, but you could definitely put hot glue or tape all the way around the back. Looks like Dollar Tree did use tape. Next, I used one of those tumbling tower blocks and I'm just going to put this in the center and glue the bunny in there. Is this not one of the simplest tear tree ideas? So I just held it down there, made sure to adjust it so it's pretty well centered in the frame. And here we are. I think that turned out cute. Okay, you saw he had a friend. I couldn't leave him there all alone. So I went ahead and I painted the little chick. I just used acrylic paints. Really easy. I did the same thing we did before. Glued the chick on there. And he is just as easy as the bunny was. What do you think? I think they're a great little couple. Let's go to DIY 2. So this was a fave of some of my subscribers before. I made these little wooden blocks that I got from the Dollar Tree. They're just a tiny little crafter square blocks. And I did these for Valentine's Day, so I'm going to do some Easter as well. One thing, if you saw in the beginning, I was kind of lining them up because different sides are just off a little bit and you also want to get the smoothest surface. So I did yellow and pink and blue. You can do any colors you want. Then I took some of these letter stickers from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to spell out Easter here. So first I took a blue one. I'll just create a pattern. Next I'll do yellow. And again, I'm lining them up just to make sure how they'll sit, that they'll be level going across. And just make sure and press those down really well. Next is the S. So I just went pink, or excuse me, blue, yellow, pink. And then I started with blue again and just getting that Easter spelled out, making sure I center that T. And there it is. Okay. 
and I ended up spelling Easter blessings. So just gave these all a once over again, just making sure I got it all pressed down. Then I took some of my plaster Waverly chalk paint and I just gave it a coat across the top of it. Later I'll go back and paint the sides, but I'm going to start off with just the top. And they really just needed one coat. You could definitely go back and do another coat if you felt it needs it. Next, I'm going to take this little paper piercing tool and I'm just taking it at an angle. You can get to the, that tool at the Dollar Tree as well. It comes in a two pack. I love it for my Cricut. It's also a nice tool for that. And you're just peeling off that sticker. And if you see, then the color of paint is left behind. So that will give us a nice color pattern to spell out the Easter blessings. And it's pretty quick and simple and a little bit therapeutic. Next, I just went back and painted all the sides. But I won't make you sit here and watch me paint all day. Well, they don't take that long. But here they are, Easter blessings. I think this turned out cute. It would be great on any tiered tray. Project three, it's another easy one and you just saw it on that tray. I wanted to take the extra paint on my head on my brush. If you look, those blocks are back there drying. So I went on to my birdhouse, I just put it in, I want to say this is the Waverly Pool color. Again, use a color that's going to match everything you're putting on your tiered tray. This matches that bunny that I did, that bunny jar in the last tiered tray video. I will definitely link that other video up above and down below. So I just decided to do the roof yellow and then the platform yellow as well. And then I took a little bit of hazelnut, which really wasn't necessary looking back, but I put that around the edges just to give it a little bit of a darker feel, like it's the wood inside. I don't know, I thought it needed it. Next, I took a wet wipe and I'm taking some white paint. This kind of puts it on and takes it off all at the same time just gives it that look so it's not so brand new and I did it on the blue as well as a yellow and I just stuck a little bit of Spanish moss in the hole that is it so easy and here's one bonus DIY this one is I used a fall sign but they have definitely had ones for Christmas they have them in all seasons I just want to take that glitter off with my sanding block and I do love that ladybug vacuum that I found on Amazon. Um, Courtney um, is the one that had that before and I just loved it. My daughter's nickname is ladybug so it had a special place in my heart. All right I discovered that with this scrapbook paper two lines would cover each of these. So I'm going to again use that Crafters Extra Strong Glue by Elmer's. I like this one, it's a little bit more expensive but I never have problems with things lifting. As long as I make sure to give it a good rub and make sure it's nice and smooth, it has never failed me. So just put that on there and rub it down. And I will just do that on all of them. And just kind of rubbed around the edges. I trimmed it down. I probably didn't really need to because I'm going to use my sanding block. Now you could also use a nail file and often that's a bit easier to handle. Um, going around these edges, but you get the perfect edge this way. You don't have any extra paper hanging off at all. And you'll probably want to go back though and rub it back down because with this sandpaper, it kind of wiggles it around a little bit. 
Next, I took these gem stickers. These are the blue ones, and I painted them with some Waverly ink. Those are going to be nail heads later. Next, I took a craft stick, and I'm going to spell out Easter. So I'm deciding how I will space this out. These letter stickers that I got was in a pack from Walmart. It had more of each letter. It would have taken more packs of stickers had I used the Dollar Tree ones. And these are a little bit bigger. I was hoping to use the poster stickers from the Dollar Tree, the nice big ones, but they were too big. So I had to go find a middle guy. So just get your spacing down on how you wanna space out your word. Put it on the popsicle stick. Now you could mark down how far you want it. You could also use a ruler. This technique works with that. But basically then you can center it, press it down, and then just tip it and there you are. It's on there, all nice and spaced out. Now, when I did my next stickers, I kind of wanted them to fit in between the other letters, just because this word has a few less stickers and, or a few less letters, I should say. So I thought that that might be cute to kind of go in between the other letters. And we're just gonna press down the bunny. And I decided to use some of the poster letters to make an arrow. So this is the end of the exclamation point. And then I used a capital V to make the end of my arrow. You could draw it on there. You could, you name it, you could use your imagination and you could definitely make this your own. So then I took, I wasn't going to have enough exclamation points. So I took the number one, clipped off the little point on it, and the middle sign that's a little bit smaller, I used it for that one. And then I used a smaller V. And that will make my arrow going the other way. Perfect. So now the middle one will say egg hunt. And then the bottom one, we have a carrot patch. So again, these are all pretty simple DIYs that you could do. This would be cute um, once you got it done to put in a planter. You could do so many things with this. Okay, these stickers have a little bit of tape in between them. So you just have to clip it off. But I wanted to make little nail heads uh, so that you could see how's this sign attached. And so it would be, you know, two nails in the metal to hold it to it. So I just put that on all of them. And then I took the leaves off of these berries. And they have three of them there. And then I got this on clearance at Hobby Lobby. I've told you guys, shop Hobby Lobby after the season. I got that 90% off. So I take little snips off of it. And then you just want to snip apart the leaves. And I'm just going to make these leaves climb up our sign. You could put this on the back. I think I only did one on the front and the rest are on the back. But when you cut these leaves apart, you just want to round them a little bit. And you could definitely put them in a bunch and then cut them around like I did on that one. I found that on my second bunch that was easier to do. And now I'm just going to take these blue buds and make them climb as well. So they kind of look like vines with little flower buds, I thought. So we'll just continue this up the post. I do hope that if you've been enjoying these, that you have hit that like and hit that subscribe button. And if you hit the bell, then you will also be alerted when I upload a new video. Often I do additional videos if I join a challenge or a collab or a special one. My regular upload time for my videos is Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. 
so that you can start out your day with your cup of coffee or your cup of tea or your choice, um, central time, enjoying a video. All right, so we're just continuing up this sign with a little bit of the vine. I'm adding in a little bit of white. Whoops, those weren't supposed to come off, but hey, we'll fit them in. So just continuing going around the sign here. I do hope that you'll let me know below which one is your favorite. And if you do have a favorite, if you'll be trying it out, that would also be fun to know. Next, I will be moving on to more farmhouse or home decor. So that's the next video I will be working on. All right, I'm just continuing down this sign and it is close to being done. I think that all of these DIYs have been pretty easy ones that most of us could do. I used my heat gun to just go back over this real quick and get rid of any glue spider webbies that are on there. And see, that takes care of them. Next, I had that bucket from the Dollar Tree. I threw in some floral foam. First, I stuck a bag down there just to pop it up a little bit. Stuck some floral foam in there and some rocks from outside, good old Mother Nature, and some Spanish moss. And that's really all there was to it. Here it is. I probably could have stuck it in with my plant there, but now I have the bucket and I can move it wherever I want. I hope you've enjoyed and I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Have a wonderful day.